Today we dive deeper into Apple Intelligence. It's free to use, but you'll need a compatible device to access it. This includes the iPhone 16 and 17 models, and the iPad, or a Mac with an M2 chip or newer. Your device should be running the latest software. Getting started with Apple Intelligence is straightforward. After updating your device, open the Settings app, scroll down, and tap on Apple Intelligence and Siri to turn them on. Choose Activate Apple Intelligence, and that's it. Your device will start downloading the Apple Intelligence model. This may take a while, but once it's done, you'll be ready to explore the amazing features of Apple Intelligence. To integrate ChatGPT with Siri, go to Settings, then Apple Intelligence and Siri. Scroll down to the Extensions section and look for ChatGPT. Toggle it on. While you don't need an account, signing in will help you save your requests for future use. If you're using the free version of ChatGPT, you'll see a daily usage limit. If you've reached the limit, Siri will switch to a basic model. Now that everything is set up, using ChatGPT with Siri is effortless. You can ask questions like, Hey Siri, ask ChatGPT to plan a keto diet for me, and I'm vegan. Siri will forward your request to ChatGPT, and you'll get an instant response. You don't even have to open the app. Instead of asking Siri to consult ChatGPT, simply ask Siri your question, and it will seek ChatGPT's help for more complex queries. You can add follow-up questions or additional details such as, I'm allergic to nuts and soy, and can you include some cheat days with pizza? If you prefer typing over speaking to Siri, you can activate Type to Siri by double-tapping the bottom of the screen and asking your question as usual. For information about something on your screen, say, Hey Siri, ask ChatGPT how many steps I took today, and Siri will send a screenshot to ChatGPT for an answer. When it comes to writing emails, messages, or notes, Siri can assist using ChatGPT's writing tools. For instance, to write an email to a business partner, you can say, Hey Siri, ask ChatGPT to draft a partnership proposal email, and ChatGPT will create a polished response for you. If you're interested in more creative tasks, ChatGPT can generate realistic images based on your description. For example, you can ask, Hey Siri, ask ChatGPT to create a lifelike image of a serene mountain landscape, and voila, you can save the image to your gallery or share it through messages. The next amazing feature is the writing tool, designed to make writing both easier and more efficient. While you're messaging, write a text and select it. Using the pop-up menu, choose Writing Tools. Here, you can describe the change you want, rewrite the text, and set the tone to friendly, professional, or concise. Scroll down, and you'll find more options to summarize, get a key point list, or add a table. Below that is a Compose option. When you click on that, it'll take you to Compose with ChatGPT for even more complex tasks. For now, let's go back to the Describe section, where I'll ask it to add a fun element to this message. One of the standout features available on the iPhone 16 is its ability to recognize and analyze objects, animals, and even text in photos. To access this, simply press and hold the new camera button on your iPhone, which will reveal two options at the bottom, Ask Siri and the standard shutter button. Point your camera at any object or scene, snap a photo, and then ask. The device will automatically send the image to ChatGPT, which will interpret the context, like identifying objects or describing the scene. You can also use the Ask feature to ask more specific questions, such as, what's the name of this fruit? Another useful function is the ability to create events directly from your camera. When you point your camera at a scene with a date or time, a pop-up will appear allowing you to add an event to your calendar before you even take the photo. For instance, if you take a picture of text in a foreign language, you'll immediately get the option to translate it into English. If you select Search, the device will identify the object or scene and conduct an automatic search for related images or information. This feature is incredibly handy, especially while traveling. For example, by pointing your camera at a landmark, you can instantly get information about the place. Additionally, when you capture text with your camera, the options at the bottom will adjust to summarize and read aloud. You still have the ask and search options available. By selecting summarize, you can receive a condensed version of the text, or if you choose read aloud, the text will be read to you. 
Next up is the image generation feature in the Notes app, which incorporates Apple intelligence in two remarkable ways. First, you can generate an image from a text description. And second, you can transform a rough sketch into a polished image. Starting with the first option, I have a text passage that talks about a famous landmark in Paris, specifically the Eiffel Tower, but I don't explicitly mention its name. After selecting the text, I tap on Add to Image Playground, and Apple Intelligence quickly generates an image based on the description. Even though I didn't specifically state Eiffel Tower, it understood the context and delivered a precise image. For the second feature, I use the markup tool to draw a simple sketch. In the markup section, there's a new option called the image wand. I simply circle my drawing and Apple intelligence works its magic, transforming my doodle into a refined image. Additionally, there's an app on the iPhone called Image Playground. You can describe any image and the app generates a stunning animated illustration based on your description. Simply open the app, describe an image like a white cat and the app will instantly generate the image. You can swipe through to create more versions and fine tune the result. You can also select the plus icon and choose from various styles, such as an illustration. There are also several effects to choose from, like adding a sweatband. If you swipe further, you'll find even more options to explore. Another fun feature is writing me, followed by a description, and the app will generate an image that resembles your face. Apple Intelligence offers a handy feature that allows you to quickly get the key points of a message or email without reading through the entire content. To set this up, go to Settings, scroll down, and select Notifications. You'll see an option to enable Summarize Notifications. Turn this on, and from now on, when you check your notifications, Apple Intelligence will automatically condense them into a brief summary, letting you quickly grasp the main details without having to open and read the entire message or email. This summarization feature works not only in notifications, but also in the Mail app. Emails will be summarized so that you can get the gist of the message without opening them fully. If you find an email that's too long, simply open it, and you'll see the Summarize option in the top right corner. Tap on it, and the email will be condensed into just a few lines, typically four or five, making it much easier to read. Another great use of this feature is when you're reading lengthy articles in Safari. If you don't have time to read the full content, simply look for the Reader Available icon Click it, and you'll receive a quick summary of the article right away. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.